there so i'm going to tell you about schmidt trigger operation using triple fight hammer so how it will act as a schmidt trigger schmidt trigger is uh, nothing but a circuit which will generate a square wave from if input signal is given as sinusoidal signal but how the triple fight hammer acts as an schmidt trigger so if you see suppose the capacitor is there so generally capacitor is coupling capacitor so when so for ac analysis capacitor will be short circuit so will, vi will be connected di directly here but uh, for dc analysis it will be open circuit so whenever capacitor is open circuit so here the voltage either v2 is equal to v6 is equal to see there is vcc two equal resistors so it will be simply vcc by 2 by voltage division principle now so but the moment dc analysis happens so it will be simply dc voltage as vcc by 2 whenever we apply sinusoidal signal the capacitor behave as short circuit which will couple the the sinusoidal signal or ac signal across the 216 terminal so after application of vi so v2 v6 will become vi that is it will the dc level will be shifted by vcc by 2 and upon this there is a input signal vi so this is at v2 or v6 this is the value right now how it will generate a square waveform using this so this is the the normal uh, dc conditions that is plus minus minus is connected to 2 by 3 vcc vth that we have seen in previous lectures the due to three equal resistors similarly vtl is equal to 1 by 3 vcc which is connected to plus the moment v2 is equal to vcc by 2 that is dc voltage we have given that is from here when we don't apply any input signal so it is vcc vc6 is equal to vcc by 2 v2 is also vcc by 2 for this case what will happen we will see vcc by 2 means 0.5 times of vcc which is greater than the 1 by 3 vcc that is 0.33 times so minus is greater than the positive so you will get minus v sad or logic level is 0 similarly if you compare here plus is connected to vcc but that is 0.5 times but 2 by 3 means 0 0.66 again here minus is greater than the positive so again here we will get minus v sad or logic 0 so whenever r is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 sr flip flop will have no change at the output condition so see so here no change output condition so whenever no change output is also no change that is it remembers the previous state if it is logic 1 in the previous ways you know it also will be logic 1 only if it is it was 0 now also it will be 0 that is the previous conditions now the moment when we apply this input signal like 0 to vm minus vm so it will be like this that is whenever suppose the moment so there is a some levels that is vth that is 2 by 3 vcc and one more level is there that is vtl 1 by 3 vcc by applying vcc by 2 plus v here so now the moment here the v2 or v6 is greater than 2 by 3 vcc due to this upon the application of the input signal so that is some vi so by adding this suppose if it is greater than 2 by 3 vcc if it is happens similarly it is also will happen plus vi so greater than 2 by 3 vcc now what will happen we will see so the moment plus is greater than minus it will become plus v sad that is logic 1 what about the lower comparator minus is greater than positive so again the minus v sad only and logic 0 now we will see logic 1 is given to r logic 0 is given to s so as r is equal to 1 means output will be reset that is q will become 0 what about q bar that will become 1 so what is the v naught now it will be 0 that is or low or 0 that is whenever this voltage when you upon application of sensor signal whenever this v2 or six is greater than 2 by 3 vcc the output will become low now so when the moment it is negative half cycle that is less than 1 by 3 vcc so now what will happen we will see v2 is less than 1 by 3 vcc similarly v6 also less than 1 by 3 vcc so in this case what will happen plus is given to less than 1 by 3 vcc minus is at 2 by 3 vcc that means minus is greater so minus 
we said that is logic 0 here less than 1 by 3 we see that is positive is greater now see plus is connected 1 by 3 but minus is connected less than 1 by 3 so it will become plus v set or logic 1 that is s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 so s is equal to 1 means q will become 1 q bar will become 0 so q bar is given to inverter so output will become what high or logic 1 so this is how the this stable phi timer works the moment when we apply some ac signal right so if you take the output waveform so there are two levels so greater than 2 by 3 vcc less than 1 by 3 vcc greater than 2 by 3 less than 1 by 3 now the moment vi is greater than 2 by 3 vcc output is becoming low so that means it was previously high now it will become low now again the moment it is less than 1 by 3 vcc the output is becoming high then again low then high and so on it follows continuously so it will generate a square waveform so the maximum is vcc with some frequency of oscillations what is this frequency of output is is same as the input because how much how many times the 2 by 3 vcc is happening that many times the output is changing so the frequency of input is equal to frequency of output so so that is about some schmidt trigger so that is you can easily simulate this one so so that we'll see in the next lecture how to simulate the triple byte timer as a schmidt trigger